Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Morocco-UK Green Power Link, a project that aims to bring renewable energy from Morocco to the UK via subsea cables. The project has the potential to revolutionize the way we produce and consume energy, and it could be a key part of the UK's strategy to transition to a low-carbon economy. So, let's dive in and explore this exciting project in more detail. If you are new here, please consider subscribing for more videos about energy and power, infrastructure projects around the globe. And, please don't forget to click on the like button. Clicking on the like button do help support the channel. Background The Morocco-UK Green Power Link is a joint project between the UK and Morocco, which was announced in 2021. The project aims to bring up to 3,800 MW of renewable energy from Morocco to the UK, enough to power over 7 million homes. The energy will be transmitted via subsea cables that will connect the two countries, spanning a distance of around 3,800 kilometers. The project is still in its early stages, and there are many technical, economic, and regulatory challenges that need to be addressed before it can become a reality. However, the UK government sees the project as an important part of its strategy to transition to a low-carbon economy and reduce its greenhouse gas emission. Benefits The benefits of the Morocco-UK Green Power Link are numerous. Firstly, it will provide the UK with a new source of renewable energy, reducing its reliance on fossil fuels and helping it to meet its climate change targets. Secondly, the project will create jobs and stimulate economic growth in both countries. As well, it will strengthen the relationship between the UK and Morocco, fostering greater cooperation and collaboration between the two nations. Challenges However, there are also several challenges that need to be overcome before the project can be realized. One of the main challenges is the technical feasibility of transmitting such a large amount of energy over such a long distance. The subsea cables will need to be designed and constructed to withstand harsh ocean conditions and deliver a reliable supply of energy. In addition, the cost of building the infrastructure and transmitting the energy could be prohibitively high, and the project may face regulatory hurdles that need to be addressed. Why Morocco was chosen as the location for this project Let's start by exploring why Morocco was chosen as the location for this project. Morocco has an abundance of renewable energy resources, such as wind and solar power. In fact, Morocco is a global leader in renewable energy, with a goal of generating 52% of its electricity from renewable sources by 2030. Another reason why Morocco was chosen is its strategic location. Located in North Africa, Morocco is close to Europe, which makes it an ideal location for exporting energy. This is especially true since Europe is striving to increase its reliance on renewable energy and reduce its carbon footprint. It is important to also mention that the strong partnership between Morocco and the UK played a significant role in the selection of Morocco as the location for this project. The two countries have been working together on renewable energy projects for several years, and this new project is a testament to their strong collaboration. What technology will be used? Now, let's discuss the technology that will be used for the Morocco-UK Green Power Link project. The project will use high-voltage direct current cable technology. HVDC is more efficient than alternating current technology, especially for long-distance transmission. The HVDC cable technology will be used to transmit the renewable energy from Morocco to the UK. The advantages of HVDC over AC technology include lower transmission losses, a smaller footprint, and greater flexibility in terms of power flow control. In addition to the HVDC cable technology, the project will also use cutting-edge converters to ensure efficient energy transmission. These converters will convert the electrical current from the HVDC cable into a form that can be used by the UK national grid. How will the energy be imported from Morocco to the UK? Let's talk about how the energy will be imported from Morocco to the UK. The energy will be transmitted using subsea cables. Subsea cables are essential for long-distance transmission of electricity, and they have been successfully used in other similar projects. The HVDC cable technology will be used to transmit the renewable energy from Morocco to the UK through these subsea cables. As mentioned earlier, the HVDC technology is more efficient than AC technology, which makes it ideal for long-distance transmission. Once the energy reaches the UK, it will be distributed to households and businesses through the UK National Grid. The UK National Grid is responsible for the transmission and distribution of electricity throughout the UK, and it will play a vital role in ensuring that the energy is distributed efficiently and effectively. When will the project commence? The exact date for the commencement of the Morocco-UK Green Power Link project has not been officially announced yet. It's important to note that large-scale projects like this one involve several phases, such as planning, design, and construction, which can take several years to complete. However, according to X-Links, the company behind the project, the first phase of the project is expected to be operational in 2029, with the second phase due in 2031. And that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed learning about the Morocco-UK Green Power Link project. 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.